everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video, which is going to be sharing some of next autumn winter collection with you. I have seven pieces, I've picked out some real wardrobe staples, things that you can wear every winter, every autumn winter, things that are really good quality and I'm excited to try them on. So I've only tried on the jacket so far, so everything else is going to be the first time of me trying it on. I'm going to talk to the camera, tell you about the fit and everything like that. All the products will be linked in the description box below and let's just roll in into today's try on video. Literally going to start with the hero piece of this haul, which is this beautiful next leather jacket. £160, but the leather is so soft. It's a western cut. I got mine in a size 12. I normally go for a 10 or a 12 in jackets because I feel like they fit me better across the shoulders. But this jacket is just a dream. As soon as I put it on, I thought it's the perfect fit. If, like me, you go in between sizes for jackets, I would say go up. The 12 fits me perfectly. Really good arm length. I am 5'8 and it comes up to just above my bum there. So if you've got a shorter body, it might be a little bit longer. If you've got a longer body, it might be a little bit cropped coming up. But it literally sits at the perfect part of your trousers. Like there's the bottom of my jeans and this is the jacket. I could button it up, but equally I feel like there's still arm room in there so I could fit it underneath a chunky jumper which I also have, so I shall try the chunky jumper on next and we shall try this jacket over the top of it just to see if you're gonna be able to fit some knitwear under there. But literally cannot recommend the quality of this leather. I'm like so impressed and I know 160 pound is a little bit on the higher side for the high street, but leather jackets really do last in your wardrobe for years. So I can highly, highly recommend investing in this one. For my jumper, I mean, is there anything more classic for autumn winter than this style knit? I don't know what it is, but I will leave the name of the knit style below or on the screen. And I've gone for a neutral colour, obviously, because it's just going to complement so many different things in your wardrobe. I went for a size medium. Again, I will leave all my sizing um, information in the description. And I'm sh pretty sure that Next have a size guide on the website as well. So when you go and see the product pages, you'll be able to work out what's best for you. But I do prefer my knitwear a little bit on the bigger size because my sizings are a small, but I do go for the medium to have a little bit of room in there. Now, first impressions is this is really soft, so I'm not getting any itch at the moment, which I absolutely hate in jumpers because you buy a jumper that you love and you can't wear it. Where's the tag on this? I want to tell you what the composition is. So this is 60% acrylic and 40% nylon. So it probably would sit on fire <laughs> and it might make you sweat, but it does make you itch. So let's pop this on. Got quite a tight head hole actually. So hopefully I haven't got any foundation on that, but this is the jumper. I love the fit, but I do have to say for some reason, the stitching's kind of like, or the knit knitting is kind of doubled over here at the front and it feels a little bit hefty on my shoulders, like I can feel that it's sitting there, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I'm just gonna try the jacket over the top and see if you would be able to wear a chunky jumper underneath, because I mean, I do not know what's going on with the shoulders here, but they are a little bit on the chunky side. So let's see, literally my arms are going into this easy. It does feel a little bit tight across the back area there and here, but as you can see, you can fit a very chunky knit jumper underneath the jacket and the jacket didn't look oversized when I was wearing it on its own as well so this is definitely the perfect fit so yeah if you're in between sizes size up for this jacket because then you're going to get the fit that you want on the shoulders and you're also going to have room underneath to fit knitwear like this so I'm actually really impressed with that and the fact the knitwear doesn't itch but I'm not sure about those shoulders let me know what you think in the comments below Right, this can be a test actually because I bet this jumper is possibly one that molts. You know the kind. Way we can test it is I do also have some skinny jeans. Now I cannot recommend enough next skinny jeans. They're 360 jeans. This will be my third pair. I don't need another pair because my other ones have kept the shape perfectly. They've kept the colour. It's just the fact that I wear them so much that in autumn winter when I want to wear them, they're in the wash. So I thought I would get another pair and also just so I could show you a fresh pair on the screen. So for these, sizing is true to size. I have a size eight long. I think these are the long leg ones because I'm about five foot eight. And they do fit me perfectly. They do fit a little bit tighter when I first put them on compared to my other ones because, probably because they're brand new. But I'm just gonna pop these on and you can see what they look like. 
Oh, I have got a ring light on me, so I'm literally sweating, so I might not stay in this jumper for long, but these are the jeans on. Let me just have a little stretch into them. And they will pick up fluff like this jumper does, obviously, shed everywhere. But what I would say with things like that is that you can carry around a mini cell tape in your handbag or like a hair roller, and then you can easily, you know, just get fluffing bits off you. I mean, I constantly have dog hairs all over me because Brody, my lurcher, is a lovely ginger blonde colour. But these are the jeans on, so they, although they're pretty tight, they still have stretch here, and I just think they're just really figure flattering. And like I say, they wash really well, they keep the colour, they keep the shape. I mean, that's what you're looking for in a pair of jeans. They are not on the expensive side for next jeans between 45 and 65 I believe. Sorry, I've got like lip gloss on and my hair is literally just sticking into it. Uh, but I will leave the link below, but I cannot recommend them enough if you want a pair of skinny jeans that last. Now the final part that I thought I would put on with this look is I wanted to try some chunky boots, but I feel like I'm not gonna last in this jumper too long because I'm literally sweating. So it also is very warm, so it'd be a good one for the colder months. I also picked up a pair of boots, uh, military style, just because I wanted to see what the next offering was in comparison to the Dr. Martin boots. So if you've not seen my styling video, I have one of those about, I shall leave it linked. And I just think these are the perfect style of boots for autumn, winter, they're gonna keep your feet dry, they're gonna keep your feet comfortable, and they just look really cool. And this pair is 90 pound real leather, so, a little bit cheaper than the Doc Martens, not much different, but we do have some buckle detailing there, and these are a nice shiny patent. I'm gonna try these on, I got these in a size eight, and I just thought they'd look really cool with this look, and especially with the leather jacket as well. So they have a zip on the inside, which means that you can easily get your feet in and out. They also have the laces, so you know if you need to have them a little bit looser. Got a good amount of room in there, so probably like thumbs worth at the end on the toe. So I'd say you don't need to size up or size down. You can just go for your true size. And like I say, I just think it's just a really cool, casual, everyday look. And I'm gonna be loving pairing all of this with the leather jacket. I did actually pick out some black trousers because I know a few of you have asked before kind of for workwear ideas and because obviously when I was doing my 9 to 5 it was where what you want to work so I haven't really worked in like a smarter office environment for a while so I wanted to try and add some pieces to my wardrobe so I can put together a video on that but I was sent these Emma Willis wide leg trousers instead um, so I thought I would try them anyway. They're obviously too short for me because they're just the regular, not the long. Size 8, I literally had to jump to get them on over my hips and they feel very short in the crotch so I wouldn't actually be able to wear these because I feel like they're cutting in a little bit. They've possibly got wool in, I will double check, because they are just making my legs itch because they're not lined on the inside. So unfortunately, it's a thumb down for these but I just thought I would share them just in case anybody had been eyeing them up just to let you know that you might want to size up if you are longer legged like myself, you'll definitely need the tall range and that yes, they are a little bit on the itchy side. So if you've got sensitive skin, these are definitely not for you. Now, I have been so excited to try this set. I'm literally one of those type of people, as soon as I come in from somewhere, I want to take my makeup off, I want to get my comfy clothes on and I saw this knitted set and I just thought, hmm, can maybe even get away with going out to the shops and this as well with a pair of trainers. And I have a size 810 in the cardigan, and I will say it's absolutely massive. I did think about sizing up. I definitely don't need to, could maybe even size down. It depends what kind of look you want, and if you want to wear your cardigan out, because I was thinking I would wear this out about over jeans as well. But I don't know if it just looks a little bit too big, so it's not very figure flattering. Uh, so something to bear in mind, whether you want oversized, stick to the normal size. If you maybe want it, you know, a little more, fitting than this so there's less material when you wrap it over and tie it up then I would say size down but it is so beautifully soft and it's a gorgeous camel colour so I am a little bit obsessed. Um, the trousers as well, they're so comfortable in comparison to those ones that I just tried on and were itchy. These literally feel like they're soothing my legs, they're so nice although I have been sent a 10 regular so these are too big for me. Um, even the eights would probably have a lot of stretch, so you definitely do not need to size up in these. I'm gonna go in store and see if I can swap these. Hopefully they've got them in stock in Manchester for me to swap my size. So that is the last of everything that I have from next just to show you. So I thought I'd do like this 
kind of try and talk to the camera version so let me know what you think of this for autumn winter i just really want to kind of add to my wardrobe classic knits comfy clothes items you're gonna get a lot to wear out of so that's what i tried to pick i'd love to know what your favorite piece i've shared has been or if you've shopped in next recently and if you're new i'd love if you would subscribe click the notifications because i'd love to have you back on my channel i'm at the moment trying to do two videos a week lots of styling lots of autumn fashion content and i might mix things up a little bit as well because i recently did uh, my jewelry collection that i'll leave linked as well for you guys so you can go check that out but thank you for watching today and i will hopefully see you all very soon bye guys Thank you.